Hi guys, I'm Adam from Poland. So I live in Poland and we have here a uh, widely deployed LZ access along with the carrier aggregation on three bands on uh, 1800, 800 and 2600. So this is combined of three bands and most of the newest terminal will uh, use this technology to achieve the higher speed but Mm, let's uh, see what to do with the uh, would say old terminals so you may probably want to to fix to force them to camp on the selected frequency I'm talking about the old uh, USB dongles like uh, Huawei E3272, E3276, E3273 something like this so they are basically same so what will be doing this in this uh, in this chapter so First of all, you need to run the mobile partner to, to enter the pin code to have this one uh, connected and available in the system. So this device will and the drivers will install a virtual uh, COM port, communication port, CR port in the device manager. So we need to find the correct number of this port. So what you first do is uh, you enter the pin code, then you switch this application off like this. So we need also to check uh, what is the correct communication port number. So this will be in the device manager. Here, here you'll find the communication port. So for my scenario, it is COM8. So we'll be using COM8 to connect directly to the modem. So I will this, I will minimize this window. Right. So you also need some kind of application that will allow you to connect to the uh, serial port. So the hyperterminal should be fine, but I will be using PuTTY. So PuTTY is free. You can download it from every site. Yeah. So this one has a built-in serial communication. So we'll be using COM8 and the speed to connect you put something like this or it's really not relevant here right when it's black it's fine because it shows that you have already connected to the serial port so don't worry the first command you have to enter is uh, a t e 1 which means that you have to enable echo for your commands echo Command echo, the old com command from the, I would say, modem era. Now what will check the name of my device, ATE1. So in this tutorial I'm using E3272 with this software release and let's go. So the magic command that you have to do use is the AT system configuration expansion and those commands are shown here in the left upper corner so I will be switching this one to the 1800 because by default by default it will select the band automatically which in real life means that it will connect to the highest frequency so that's the default config it will switch the bands automatically it will connect to the highest band on LTE, so I will don't want to to have it. I want to fix this one to 1800. So I'm putting this one here. Right, just to copy and paste. Right, and now the modem is switching the band and will connect to the 1800. It basically restarts itself, so we we'll need to put the the pin code again if you did or if you don't have a if you have a pinless card then you're fine you will connect automatically to the LTE, to the selected band so that's basically all so let's switch this window off and let's go back to the mobile partner to see if there's any change in the in the frequency and signal power yep so let's let's check this one mobile partner here right well it will take a time to to start it 
so just be patient here. I can see that the modem is blinking uh, blue, so it's probably connecting to the network, so we'll need to put the... Yeah, we'll need to put the pin code, or we don't even need to put the pin code again. So, as you can see, now we have 50% uh, in the signal level, so it's much more because we have switched the frequency to the lower, which is basically having a longer, longer range. So that is what uh, we achieved. We, we could also revert to the 800, but I will not show this one up. You may do it yourself. So let's assume we want to revert all changes. So let's get back. Let's put again the putty. And let's set the, the command to revert this one back to have this auto selection. Communication port number eight. Right, black screen, like I said, it's a fine. ATE1 command and enter. Then you can see the OK prompt. And uh, let's see what was said and how, to, how it will report this one. Mm, I don't know if it, this command will not work. So basically, it will not show up uh, the changes that you made but don't worry to revert to the default you just put this one and it shall be okay okay it's saying that it's changing the config it's making some changes in the register internal register of the device so it will simply remember your configuration whenever you pull off the USB from the your modem from USB it will it will remember your configuration so you have to you have to take this in mind so whenever you are changing something you need to remember that you have changed and this modem will be will be camping on the frequency that you have previously selected okay so that's all from my side hope you enjoyed the tutorial bye bye